In question number eight, it says in the representations below, circle the ones that represent a geometric sequence. Before we go through this, if you have not read through the table above, please pause the video now and go read through that table above so you can follow along with number eight. Now, for those of you that are ready to go and you've read the table, let's start taking a look at each one of these. If we start with letter A, letter A says g of x is equal to 6 times 3 raised to the x minus 1. So because the x is here in the exponent, that indicates to us that this multiplying by 3 is what's happening each time. And multiplying by each time does indicate a geometric sequence. So we can go ahead and circle letter A as geometric. If we take a look at letter B, we have h of m is equal to 6 plus 7m. This m attached to the 7 indicates that we are adding 7 each time. Adding 7 each time indicates an arithmetic sequence, so we will not circle letter B. If we move to letter C, we have d of t is equal to d of t minus 1 times 5. This is our recursive formula. We're given that d of 0 is equal to 3. What we want to point out, though, is that we are multiplying that previous term by 5 each time. So this multiplying by 5 right here indicates to us that it is a geometric sequence. So we can go ahead and circle letter C. Letter D, we're given a graph. This graph has that curve that's coming down and around. This is called an exponential decay graph. This is geometric. If you take a look at the table above, you can see that this curve indicates that we have a geometric sequence. So we can go ahead and circle letter D. In letter E, we have a recursive formula again. We have P of A is equal to P of A minus 1. That's our previous term, and we are subtracting 9 each time. And then our first term, P of 0, is equal to 8. What we want to pay attention to here is that we are subtracting 9 from the previous term each time. Subtracting 9 indicates an arithmetic sequence. So this is not geometric, so we will not circle E. If we take a look at F, F, we have a straight line. A straight line indicates that we have an arithmetic sequence and not a geometric sequence. So F is not going to be one of our choices. In letter G, we have f of n is equal to 4 times 2 to the n. Again, that variable, that n up in our exponent, indicates that we are multiplying by 2 each and every time. And that multiplying by 2, that multiplication every time, indicates that we do have a geometric sequence. So we will circle G. In letter H, letter H we have uh, our first term is 3, second term is 12, third term is 48 shows that we are multiplying by 4 each time. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. That multiplying each time indicates that we do have a geometric sequence. So we can circle H. And you can indicate here that we are multiplying by 4 each time. And then finally, letter I, we go from 3 to 9 and 9 to 5. So to get from 3 to 9, we can think about multiplying by 3. 3 times 3 would be 9, but 9 times 3 would give us 27. So we're not multiplying by 3 each time. If we think about adding, 3 plus 6 gives us 9. 9 plus 6 gives us 15. So we are actually adding 6 each time, which is an arithmetic sequence. So we will not circle letter I.